success from his roles on The Smart Guy and Kim Possible. Mm. But we like to think of him as our honorary little brother. Yes. Please welcome Taj Mori. <laughs> what up, Taj? Welcome back to the What's show, up, Taj. Yo? Oh, it's so What's good up? to see you. you? <laughs> oh, Lonnie. I love you, Lonnie. I love all y'all, but... No, I love and you, you know, too. You know, Vivica and I, Miss Vivica Fox and I, we go way back. Like yes. Kool-Aid, like she Kool-Aid. She just yes. said that. Yes, like Kool-Aid. <laughs> well, wow. we love you, Todd. You know how much we love your family, especially yes. our mm. sister, Tamara. Tam Tam. And the one yeah. thing we love seeing on social media are the photos of you with your nieces and nephews. What is the best part about being an uncle? Oh, my gosh. I think my favorite right now, because, you know, it changes, it evolves, but my favorite right now is that they're all, they're getting older. Yep. So Cree and Aiden both can text me now whenever oh, they wow. want. They can FaceTime me whenever they want. And, like, earlier in the year, Aiden was, like, texting me talking mad trash during a football game. And I'm just like, no, <laughs> you're, okay. you're nine, bro. What are you doing? What are you talking about right now? Like, I love it. Um, I've known you forever. And uh, you played yes. football in high school and college. Now, is that what you yes. would be doing professionally if you weren't acting? I think, I think so. I, uh, football was a big passion of mine. And so, yeah, I think if I wasn't acting, I would probably still be playing ball. That is awesome. Well, speaking of something you did when you were younger, you were a Disney star as a kid. Mm. And obviously, we've seen a lot of Disney stars go through so much. I want to ask yeah. you, how did you handle all the pressures that came along with stardom at such a young age? Well, I think, first of all, it's, you know, our family. My mm -hmm. family, my parents mm -hmm. always brought us up, you know, the right way. Uh, our faith was a was a was a big thing and i think having i'm blessed enough to have to be able to have the same group of like close friends for like over half of my life i, I honestly feel for these these uh kids stars these days because they yeah. have social media like i didn't yeah. i didn't have that yeah. when i was Good on point. disney and that that would have been i don't know how that would have went you know what i mean because it's crazy now but i can't imagine you know a child actor you know, going online and seeing seeing things like that. But I think family, faith, uh, having a good core group of people around you that are real and that will, you know, let you know if you're getting a big head. And, yes. and I think just yeah. separating, so necessary. separating the two, you know. Uh, from a very young age, my parents instilled in me and us that, you know, acting is a job. It's not your life. It's not your identity. Mm -hmm. The glitz and glamour can come and go. So and uh, And to sort of separate them. And I think that's what that's what helped me the it's most. Really yeah, Mama, Mama Darlene did not play. At all. I, I still love her. her. She, <laughs> Lonnie, she, she still don't play. She still don't play. I love her. I love her too. <laughs> <She's> <laughs> now, you know, <laughs> earlier this year, we lost beloved TV dad and comedian Bob Saget, yeah. whom you worked with on Full House. What was Bob oh, no. like on the set of Full House? So and what leg Legacy will Bob oh, leave man. behind, Todd? My gosh, condolences to his family. I've, yes. you know, I've been keeping his family in prayer. But Bob Saget was just one of the sweetest men in Hollywood. Yeah. You know, yeah. and and he was just so funny and so sweet. And you know, he was like the dad on set. And I, I, I a lot of my childhood was spent, you know, on that set. And yeah. uh, I will never forget him. And I'm honored who have been able to work with such an amazing person. And he was funny, kind, sweet. And um, yes, he will, he will definitely be missed. Well, Todd, someone else that was very close to you was Naya Rivera. Um, you dated the late actress, and you actually called her your first love, your first everything. Wow. How did her death affect you? Oh, my gosh. Well, anytime, you know, I, 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 I try to stay as far away from these questions as I, as I can. Um, because you know, I want to give respect to her family and and um, uh, and, and and her her mom and and her dad and her brother and sister and a lot of her family who I'm I'm still in contact with now. Um, so again, just respect to them and I love them all so much. I grew up with her and that family. Um, I grew into uh, you know manhood and adulthood you know with her and it was rough. But again, I can't. Uh, it can't relate to what they felt. You know, they, they lost a daughter and, um, you know, uh, a sister. And so I'm, I'm always just, just very, um, you know, it's, it's weird for me sometimes to talk about how it felt personally mm -hmm. um, because I feel like it's nowhere near what, what they felt. But it, yeah. it was rough for a while. But, you know, knowing that she's in a better place 
now is always uh, when you know if I do think about her and I get down, I just remember that. Yeah. Times, yeah. So smart. Taj, we all loved you in the '90s hit show, The Smart Guy. Yes. And now there is rumors of a reboot. Is that happening? Well, I'll say this. You know, I'm very busy right now, so it's 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 slightly on hold at the oh. moment. But during during the course of COVID, uh, however long we've been in this COVID thing, um, mm-hmm. you know, there's been meetings and Zoom calls and 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 conversations being had. Okay. So it's just about okay. you know timing and when everyone is uh, is is available to do it. But I think the idea that I came up with uh, is the perfect blend of like that nostalgia, that nostalgic feeling that you know the the fans love with a mix of, of something for the new generation. So it's, it's, a, it's a blend of old and new that will ultimately come together to make um, the new version of that uh, whenever, it, whenever it does happen. But yes, there has been conversations okay. um, about it and uh, a possible home for it and um, a possible writer for it. So it's just, it's just Ooh, a matter of time. That's amazing. That's and, a way to lie. Yeah. Yeah. And I love yeah, the so, times that you know, you're saying it's just, that it's your idea and your concept of how mm-hmm. it's going to come to... I love that. Yeah, I think... And that's one of the things, because smart guy fans don't mess around. Like, they At they, they want what they want. <laughs> and, 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 you know, there there's a fine line between giving the old... the, the OGs what they want, uh-huh. but also leaving room for the new generation... I love uh, that. To, ...to come on board if they haven't seen it before. So it was, uh, it was tricky to sort of find that balance but um, again, ultimately, when it when when it does uh, when it does happen, which it will, because I won't stop, because the fans will not let me stop. Yes, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so so it will it will happen when the time is right. Come yeah. on, smart guy. Well, now you're starring in the upcoming CBS series, How We Roll. Tell us about that. How We Roll. Oh my gosh, the the cast is amazing. Uh, um, me, Pete Holmes, Katie Lowe's, Shy McBride, Julie White. Um, mm. it, it's a. Uh, I think the. I love doing uh, sitcoms because I, I think the 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 best ones are the ones that kind of perfectly blend the comedy with the heart. And uh, this show has that. Every every episode, you know, that we've done, there's a moment in it where you're just like. You know that awe, that awe moment when you're watching a good multi-cam mm-hmm. and you're like, dang, like, I feel that. But it's also funny as hell. Um, and my character is hilarious. His name's Lou. He's the best friend to uh, Tom Smallwood, who is actually an actual person, which is mm. also really cool to be a part of a sitcom that's, you know, about a person that is I love a real like person. Yeah. Um, so I play his best friend, and Lou is sort of the unintentional funny uh, best friend who works at the bowling alley. Um, so all my bowling fans and people who don't <laughs> necessarily fans of bowling, they you will love this show. And I personally am not doing no bowling, but, <laughs> but there will there will be there because I'm trash. But there will be enough bowling and enough comedy for everybody. And we we've been having a blast. So I, I'm well, very excited I love for people to, to see it. I love to bow, Taj. Hey! I really do. I, so you know I can do some strikes. But check you out. Are, we've you got are going to love it. Yeah, well, we have a clip from How We Roll. Let's take a look. If this is going to happen, Smalls, and you're going to need a manager, all right? But we've been friends for a long time, so I won't take 20%. Let's meet in the middle at 18. <laughs> Lou, how is 18 meeting in the middle? See? This is why you need me. Someone who understands business. <laughs> Here you go, champ. Uh, a pro jersey? Archie's Lane's home of the curly fry. Thanks, Arch. Go ahead, try it on. I hope that thing has pockets. You can have somewhere to put all the money you're not going to win. Ah, Todd, it's always good seeing you. Yes. Thank you for uh, stopping by. How We Roll premieres March 31st on CBS at 9.30 p.m., so be sure to check it out.